Let's let them know who really got it. Came up from the bottom, now we riding in a mozzie. And these my jealous done burnt the hole in my pocket. See me, I'm shining. Yo, what's going on, guys? It is your boy Bugs, and today, guys, we're gonna be talking about the character progression in multiverses. Let's get straight into the video. As you can see, guys, all these characters has their own levels when you're playing with them, and we're gonna go straight into their progression on you know how it works. So first, we can go with Bugs. So when you first um get your character, they're gonna be level one. You don't gain nothing. You can get no skins. I think you get one emote, possibly. I could be wrong because you know you get them from the battle pass, but I'm pretty sure you get like one emote on your character. Um, moving forward, the uh, when you hit level two on your character, that is when you unlock your first perk. So level two is when you unlock your first perk, and the reason why there is a perk in the slot already is because this is what they feel is the best perk to run on this character. Obviously down the line you're able to change it and stuff, but that's what they just use as a placeholder, I guess, and that's how you unlock your first um, perk slot also. At level 3, you get gold, you know you get that gold to buy some perks in the future and characters in the future. Level 4 is when you get your second tier slot open and your second perk as you can see. Again, this is what they feel like is the best on this character and that's why they put it. Level 5 is the mm -mm -mm toast man and this is where you give your, you know, your opponent some bread or toast I mean. And you get some coin back and hopefully they toast you back for some coins also. At level 6 is when you're allowed to equip your ally's perk, as in for example if your ally is a higher level than you and has multiple perks, instead of you running those two perks that you feel like is not helping the team, you can actually run perks that they already own, which is pretty amazing for to save on coins at the earliest state of the game, and especially for new people. Um, at level 7 is when you finally unlock your third slot perk um, over here, and again, this is what the perk they feel like is best on this character, or it could just be a random placeholder that they just decided to put on. At level 8 is when you finally unlock your full potential of perks. This is your first signature of perks. And that's like the perk that's going to change your gameplay. For example, when you run this perk, now leaving your tunnel gives you a shockwave damage on nearby enemies. You know, if they're near your tunnel, I'm um, exit. And at level 9 is when you're finally able to perk train. And I'm going to go to another character that kind of shows how that looks. And bam. Right here is when you're able, oh, probably shouldn't do Harley because I kind of bought everything because I was doing something with another video. So let's go with uh, Jake. Yeah, let's go with Jake. So if you go to Perk Train, um, this is where all the perks are going to be. You know, where this blank area is, but for the fact that I bought everything, it's not over here. Um, but another cool thing is when you buy perks on one character, you actually get a discount um, on perks on all your other characters. 50% off. So perks right now. Again, this could change in the future. Perks right now do cost 250 a pop, but if you already bought it on one character and you need it on another character, it costs 125. And I know a lot of people are saying, but I already bought the perk on this character. Why don't I just have it for all your all your characters? I think this is a way to give you that grind and the reason to continue playing. The same reason why, you know, when you're playing you the, all your characters have different levels it's, it's to keep you motivated to keep playing and playing it's like oh all right i gotta play superman because i gotta level him up to get this and that and now i need to earn more coins to buy perks you know it's just giving you more of a reason to play i know some people was like but i don't got time and da 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 well that gives you even more reasons to keep playing and keep grinding down the line it may take you a little bit longer but hey man at least it's something to play for you know instead of getting everything all at once and then within a week you're like oh i'm bored i already have everything you know so i think it's an amazing thing that they did um, but that's not it. After we're done with um, level 9, we also unlock another signature perk as of right now. Um, right now, most characters have two um, perks. Some do have three. I think the only one that is available to see is Wonder Woman. As you can see, she has three signatures. Harley has three signatures also, but it didn't make the playtest, but it made it into the training lab. I'm going to go show you that real quick. A little off topic, but you know, never, never hurts to show, never show hurts to show, you know, new things. But as you can see, if you didn't know this and you are in the playtest with them, you go playtest with this and see how it is for July in the open beta. But yeah, um, again, that's not the only thing you earn. I'm gonna go back to bugs and see what else we have to earn within the playtest, uh, uh, within the character progression. Again, we unlock another free perk, so. There are some perks that might actually be good on a character and instead of you buying it at level level 9 because you don't have enough coins, guess what? You could slowly wait for it and hopefully it's one of the perks you need on the character and you could keep grinding your character and get it. Uh, also, get some more toast, come on, who doesn't love their toast? And then finally, with most characters, you usually end off with an announcer pack and a badge pack showing how much you wins you get. Um, some characters like Finn also has a icon that you also earn. 
And I think the reason why Bugs isn't in his, I think, is because he's probably already in the battle pass. I'm not fully sure, but yeah. Um, but like almost every character now has a voice, yeah, an announcer voice back. The only ones that don't have one is Tom because, you know, it's animal. Rain dog. It's an animal. But, you know, obviously Jake has one because he's a talking animal. But yeah, pretty cool. Um, again, this stuff can change and this stuff can increase, you know. Level 15 is just what they have right now. It could be increased more when they have more signature perks and more ideas and possibly even skins. You know, give away free skins for leveling up your character pretty high. Maybe level 20, 25. We don't know. And before we end the video, this is also pushing into my next video, which is that there are leaderboards in this game, guys. Yes, if you haven't noticed, uh, when you click on these characters, there's a little rank on your characters over there in the top left and i'm doing a little more explaining on that in my next video so stay tuned so i just want to end it off with leave a like if you like the video because you know i need the love and support guys please <laughs> no i'm joking but um nah i really appreciate it also don't forget to leave the comments down below man you know i love y'all comments you know i love talking back to y'all and this is your first time ever watching one of my videos what are you doing these multiverses videos are pouring out man the news the update the tips and tricks the information and again like i said future gameplay and future tournament gameplay that i'm going to be releasing at the end of the closed alpha so you have some more multiverses content to watch when that cl uh, closed alpha is done and i'm out guys peace yeah, she got a man, she don't really give a fuck about Left him back home in a whole nother state Moved to LA cause she wanna be famous Got a 9 to 5 on the side, she a waitress But it's getting tough, hard to find out